All right, welcome to another shot of Mark's whiskey. We are down at Blind Pig Spirits, and uh, hey, Colbert, you think you're all fancy with John Baptiste and Stay Human? We got Mr. Michael Arms, so uh, suck it. Yeah. All right, uh, so this is uh, Lisa, one of the co-owners of uh, Blind Pig, and uh, so uh, why don't we start off with uh, the name Blind Pig? What, what, what's sure. Um, it actually comes from the days of prohibition with the speakeasies. So you'd go into an establishment and you would pay a fee to go in the back room to view the blind pig or the blind tiger. And then once you were in, you were drinking. So the blind pig logo is really fun for us for marketing and it's something people remember the name. So we like it. Excellent. Excellent. Now, uh, the one thing I noticed here is uh, you guys have moonshine in big bold letters. And then you have whiskey in small letters. Sure. So what's uh, now? I know that with moonshine, it's typical. It's typically done with sugar, whereas with whiskey, it's typically done with grains. Um, what's uh, I mean? Would you say it's it's definitely bo both? Well, we're we're marketing that as our moonshine for okay. sure. Um, by definition, it's a white whiskey, so, okay, so it, it doesn't. It's not aged. It doesn't touch wood. It comes off the still. It's cut, okay. So it still it's would be a white dog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. But right. everything we make here, we, we're distilling from Washington grown malted barley. So we're, it's a single malt. Okay. Yeah, single All malt right. white whiskey. Okay. Uh, is there, before we, uh, before we uh, sample the uh, moonshine, uh, the white dog, is there anything uh, you want to say about it? Well, there's a lot of the organic properties of the barley in the moonshine there. So you're going to get a lot of flavor going on in a lot of different areas. Um, it's not filtered or anything, so it's very raw. We get a lot of people feedback saying, you know, they feel like it's got a woody taste or a nutty taste. Uh, some people get black licorice out of it. I mean, I've been all over the map with what people get, so it just depends upon your palate, and you just have to try it and see see what you think. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions, Jeff? Um, that covered it. I'm looking forward to tasting this. So all right. All right. Well, try. Here we go. Blind pig. I'm not getting the black licorice at all. <laughs> I <don't> like, <laughs> yeah, I do see all the, uh, you know, you've got the organics and stuff in there, and I can't, actually, I don't know that I've ever had a white dog before, but this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had, I think this is my first white dog, but that's... Uh, it's not something that people typically will mix with anything. It's right, one of those things that you enjoy it, right, you like right, it on the rocks, well, and you just enjoy it. We, we, have, we, have, three, we have three rules <clears> here. Uh, about whiskey, three rules of whiskey. One is always sip, never slam. Sure. Uh, you number two is is no water. No what? Never let never let uh, never let tap water touch your whiskey. Sure. And number three is you never mix quality whiskey. Right. And and so this is this is I would say a quality whiskey. It's uh it's got uh, kind of a nice nice bite. Yeah. Uh, I, I enjoy the bite. I like the the burn going down. Um, it doesn't, there's no where specific it really hurts you or hits you. Right. It's a nice, yeah. doesn't give you a whiskey base. It, it was smooth. That, yeah. It was yeah. smooth, but and it still had some And speaking to your bite. rule number two about never letting the, the tap water touch your whiskey, um, with us being in downtown Olympia, one of the Ooh. fun things that we're able to do is we're actually utilizing the water from the artesian well here in Olympia. So we literally are packing buckets of water from the artesian uh, well to cut our whiskey with. It's really nice. cool. Nice, nice, nice. Keeping it local. Keeping Excellent. It local. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so everybody, uh, everybody says uh, thumbs up to the, to the to the white dog. Yeah, yeah. It, it did have the nutty taste to it. For Excellent. sure. Excellent. I got it. Go with the apple very, next. To do that. All right. So, uh, all right. Well, next week, next week we're going to uh, be doing their, their apple shine, and uh, this will uh, this will kick off uh, what we're calling Cinnamonth. Uh, which basically is uh, all your flavored whiskeys. Um, just, uh, I know a lot of whiskey snobs are going to throw their nose up at that, but we are the Casual Whiskey Podcast. So uh, next week, we're going to be doing uh, Blind Pig, Apple Shine.